see what's this. Oh, I guess this is continuing what happened to him. Yeah. After being attacked by Yoshikaze, Yoshiki's life was saved by Okawa. And though Okawa was unable to recover from the shock caused by his friend Ryosuke's death, he did make a marked improvement during the time he spent with Yoshiki. Unfortunately, with the child spirits closing in, the two of them wound up going their separate ways in hopes of thwarting their pursuers. Leaving Yoshiki with a forced promise that the two of them would get out alive, Okawa ran off down the darkened corridors alone. And these are the things he then experienced. Body after body. Oh, hello. Oh, Emmy. There goes Emmy. <laughs> so, be quiet. The tear traps down her cheeks, along with their wide open eyes full of fear and pain, told a frightening story of the final moments. These, along with the splatters of blood all around her, suggested she suffered an intensely violent beating in the moments leading up to her demise. Uh, pretty sure this one was Yoshikazu. <coughs> huh? Who are you? absolutely emaciated and shaken violently. This girl was clearly not well. You may well back away. Seriously, back away. Oh, protect. <laughs> This is not gonna go well. Yeah. <laughs> um, behind you? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Kazami, oh, oh, it's been a while. I don't wanna see you. Maybe the girl's back in the way. Yeah, maybe you should tell him to throw it up on Okay, never mind. A fine spray of blood was propelled from Okawa's mouth, leaning down on the female student's face. Oh, no. fun! <laughs> oh, I thought that was with a pulled, unaffected gaze in his eyes, Kizumi proceeded to slice up and down Okawa's back as if he were carving a turkey. Fun! I mean, technically, you were always psychotic, it's just that now you have an excuse. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm amazed he had energy to move to this spot. Do you even really have to ask that? <laughs> oh, he actually threw it. Damn. <laughs> I think there's only... What is this? Omake. Character introductions. Use the eye to interact with any character and learn more about them. Reference room. If you examine the shells, you can view various event graphics from the game. When you're done, simply speak with the blue spirit. Interesting, okay. Oh! It talks about everybody from, uh, from each of these, wrong, these, uh, extra ends. Nana Ogasawada, a 7th grader at Musashikawa Girls Middle School and a prominent member of its drama club, performs Sachiko Ever After with her fellow club members. Join forces with Chihaya Yamase and Nari and Latoya in a vain search through the halls of Heavenly Host for their missing classmates. Nari and Latoya, a seventh grader at Mu Sashigawa's Girls Middle School and a prominent member of its drama club, performs Sachiko ever after with her fellow club members. Childhood friend of Nana Okasawa's. Yeah. <laughs> I can read, I promise. <laughs> Childhood friend of Nana Okasawa's 
who doesn't make any effort to hide her true feelings, unkind or no, though she cares very deeply for her friends. She had a young lesson. A seventh grader at Musashigawa Middle Girls Middle School and a proud member of the drama club. Upon Sachiko ever after with the club members. Best friends with Nana possesses a timid, almost cowardly personality, depending entirely on their friends to help her through this experience. Interesting. Let's see. Mitsuki Yamamoto, an 11th grader at Byakudan Senior High School. Student council clerk went to Heavenly House Elementary with Yuya Kizumi and her other classmates. Due to the shock of Yoshikazu's attack and being separated from her group, she had difficulty hanging on to her sanity by the time she met Satoshi. Uh huh. Tomohiro Okawa, an 11th grader at Byakudan Senior High, went to Heavenly House Elementary with Yuya Kizumi and his other classmates. When his friend Ryosuke Katayama's body was kicked down the stairs by Kizumi, he called Kizumi a murderer, setting in motion a series of dark events. Kensuke Kurosaki, an 11th grader at the Yakuden Senior High, went to Heavenly Host Elementary with Yuya Kizumi and his other classmates. Childhood friend of Yuya Kizumi's, though Kizumi has already lost his mind by the time the two of them reunite. Mm hmm. Famed Yuya Kizumi. <laughs> 11th grader at Byakudan Senior High was transported to Heavenly House Elementary with Tomohiro Okawa, Kensuke Kurosaki, and the others. Joined his classmates in searching for a way out at first, but was steadily consumed by the school's madness as time went on. That's an understatement. <laughs> Shogo Taguchi, a skilled cameraman who works as Ko Kabiki's assistant, came to Heavenly House with his boss, but the two of them quickly got separated. After learning of Kabiki and Naho's deaths, he swore to them both that he'd perform his duties as cameraman to the bitter end no matter what. And he did. <laughs> Ko Kabiki, a struggling documentarian and novelist looking for his big break, fights primarily for an occult publication of questionable relevance, has been chasing any leads he can find on the serial kidnapping and murder cases that once plagued Heavenly Host Elementary. Eventually speared himself away to Heavenly Host by choice, where he was killed by Naho after she succumbed to the darkening. Well, would you look at that? It's Naho Sainaki. Yep. <laughs> and I think at Halloweena Academy High School. Protégé to Kokabiki and has even taken up res residence in his house for free for private reasons. Discovered the such go over after Trump and shared it on her blog, prompting the events that got Ayumi and her friends mixed up with Heavenly Hips. That's an understatement. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh, and then we got all the, uh, the ghosts oh here. Kids. Takamine Yanagihori, Heavenly Host Elementary's principal and Yoshikazu's father. When the school was scheduled to be demolished, he threw himself from its roof. Murderer of Yoshi and Sachika Shinazaki, making him the primary cause of the school's place. That's an understatement. <laughs> Tokiko Suji, a victim of the serial kidnapping and murder incident that occurred within Heavenly Host Elementary in 1973 was discovered from everything from the jaw up, completely cut away and missing, including her tongue. Shima! A spirit who's been around since long before a heavenly host elementary, known as one of the seven wonders of Kisaragi High. Shimoda of the toilet. Oh! Okay, he's one of the, have the seven wonders. Good to know. Lived on this land as a nobleman long before a school was built here. Ryo Yoshizawa, a victim of a serial kidnapping and murder incident that occurred within Heavenly Host Elementary in 1973, was discovered with his tongue severed and his abdomen brutally dug out by a sharp object. Yuki Kano, a victim of a serial kidnapping and murder incident that occurred within Heavenly Host Elementary in 1973, was discovered with her left eye smashed to a pulp and her tongue severed. Yoshie Shinazaki, Sachiko Shinazaki's mother and her nurse at Heavenly Host Elementary at the time of her demise. Fell down the stairs to her death one day and her daughter went missing around the same time. Speaking of. <laughs> Sachiko Shinazaki, the girl in the red dress, reported to be the sole survivor of the serial kidnapping and murder incident in 1973. Naturality, she's the vengeful, malevolent spirit of a girl who was killed by Takamine Yanagi Hori 
20 years younger than me along with her mother. Now the creepy sprite. Yep. Ah! <laughs> Shikazu Yanagihori, Sakamini Yanagihori's son and a former teacher at Heavenly Host, blamed for the serial kidnapping and murder incident, Sachiko's accomplice. Suffered a unique mental illness of unknown origin prior to the family incident, making it very hard for him to communicate with others. Hmm. And I think it said I could click on, like, yeah, these things. Glowing frog soaking for moment sits upon the top shelf, eagerly waiting dissection. Love how that's in this room. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, what else we got? Okay, this is the entire group here. We've already seen them earlier. Mm-hmm. Let's see what this one is. Okay, it looks like this one's just... Let's see. Memories of Chapter 5! Let's okay. see here. Okay. Mm. Okay, so we got... Okay, this is just showing off, like, all the, uh... Artwork, it looks like. Yeah. We get to see all the gory details. <laughs> Hi, Kazami. Hi, Mayu. Hi, Yuka. <laughs> Hi, Yuka again. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hi, Seiko. Hey. Oh god, this scene. <laughs> uh, okay, so oh. these are just showing off the CGs of all the different chapters. Good to know. Yeah. Do you wish to exit? Yes. Because there's not much else we can do with this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. So really... After that, we literally just have this section next, but I think we'll save those for another recording session, just because it's getting a little late. <laughs> yeah. So, when we come back, we will finish up this baby once and for all. But until then, we're the Land Stars, saying thank you very much for watching. And have a fun farewell. Also, don't murder your classmates or fall in love with your siblings. That's weird. Very. <laughs> <laughs>